Hello, welcome back to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In the previous uh, demonstration class, we talked about periodic signals. Those were uh, very simple signals uh, generated synthetically, and using Audacity, we tried to make sense of them by looking at the time uh, waveform and by looking at the spectrum. Now I want to go uh, to complex sounds, so to sounds that are uh, have a much more complexity than those ones and see what we can do with it. Okay, so we'll start uh, with uh, Sonic Visualizer and uh, we will uh, open up a file. So let's open a speech uh, file. Okay, so this is a sound of a male speech. Uh, let's hear that. Do you hear me? They don't lie at all. Okay, now uh, we can, uh, of course, zoom in into different parts of the sound and we'll see that there is some parts that are more periodic, some parts that are not periodic at all. So, for example, this N, this ending, uh, that uh, we can also select uh, and play. Okay. Um, it has different... Um, portions that uh, we can uh, analyze. For example, here in the, in the middle here, it has the more voiced uh, portion the at all. So if we uh, zoom in, we'll see that it's quite periodic. Of course, it changes quite a bit, but it has some repeating patterns that uh, evolve in time. Instead, at the beginning of the, of the attack of this uh, sound, the, it has the T sound, and this uh, clearly is uh, non-periodic. So uh, we see that it's quite noisy. It's, it's the consonants that is uh, uh, very much uh, non-periodic. Okay. In order to reinforce these ideas, we can, uh, of course, use the spectral analysis. And in, uh, in Sonic Visualizer, there is the concept of pains, and we have the different panes that we can uh, we can display and there is one that is the uh, spectrum okay so this is the spectrum of uh, this sound at a particular location at uh, the cursor that we are in and uh, as I said in the previous class it's better to visualize the horizontal in uh, as a linear steps and maybe uh, put here in lines and then kind of maybe have a better uh, DV uh, range uh, to look at. And if we are in the kind of the vowel uh, type of area, we kind of see the peaks that correspond to the harmonics of uh, this sound. Instead, if we go to this, uh, the beginning, this attack, the T sound, clearly this is much uh, noisy and is more difficult to see. Maybe if we change the DFT size by changing it here, we might be able to see it a little bit better. So this is a size we take uh, 2,048 samples, and we will see uh, a little bit uh, differently the, the spectrum. Okay, let's look at another uh, maybe more complex sound. Uh, the, let's uh, look at, for example, this uh, cello double. This is a sound that uh, there is two notes. Let's hear that. Okay, so it's not a monophonic sound, it's a polyphonic sound. And uh, these uh, two frequencies, uh, we can hear them quite well. One is uh, quite stable and it goes uh, throughout uh, 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 at the same frequency. And then there is this little scale going up and down. Okay, so if we zoom in into here, uh, we will see that uh, it's, it's very hard to see any periodicity because, of course, we have these two uh, uh, sounds playing at the same time. In some areas, there might be kind of uh, the two uh, notes, they might reinforce each other in terms of frequency, and we might see some periodic oscillation but uh, typically that's going to be quite hard. So here we might infer some periodic oscillation, for example. Okay. In the spectral domain, so if we compute the, the pain and we 
show the spectrum here and again we will do it linear lines here and then maybe zoom so that we see better okay here well we see that things change and we can identify uh, the harmonics of these two uh, kind of melodies playing together if we would zoom into here and uh, too bad that sonic visualizer doesn't allow me to zoom into this first region we would see uh, that's, uh, these, uh, the different harmonics of the two uh, uh, voices that are being uh, sounding together. So clearly in the spectral domain we can try to identify things that in the time domain are much harder and we can step through the sound and figure out uh, different aspects. And then uh, let me finish by presenting an, an even a more complex sound that uh, I don't think even with the spectrum analysis we can make some sense out of that. That's, for example, this orchestral sound. This orchestral sound, uh, we can play it. Okay, there's, it's a full orchestra with uh, many string instruments. It's a Chinese uh, orchestra playing and there's percussion instruments, uh, a whole bunch of things. So if we zoom in, we very hardly will tr will make sense of any of it. It looks basically like a random uh, noise. But of course there is a lot of structure into it. Uh, hopefully the, the spectral analysis should allow us to make some sense out of all this. So if we open the, the spectrum pane and then again we change it to linear, we put it smoother and uh, we try to make a uh, little bit better visualization. Well, it's uh, very difficult, but uh, we will learn that, uh, well, there is some clear peaks here that uh, with them we can make some sense of some of the prominent voices that uh, emerge. So we will try to understand it, but of course this is very difficult. In fact, it's beyond the kind of a spectral analysis that uh, we will do in this class. These required uh, techniques that in fact are still are open research problems and uh, it's uh, very difficult to analyze a signal as complex as, as this one. But uh, basically that's all I wanted to uh, say and uh, mm. What uh, we have used is a sonic visualizer to uh, analyze different types of real sounds. We analyze a speech sound, we analyze uh, a cello sound that had two uh, melodies, two notes playing at the same time, and then this orchestral sound, all the, the sounds are in free sound. But uh, we have seen that uh, it's not easy. Of course, uh, real sounds are very complex. Maybe the speech is the easiest. Uh, we can try to grasp something when uh, there is uh, several melodies being played at the same time, but of course in a full orchestra that's really difficult. But anyway, uh, we done desperate and we will try to make uh, some uh, sense out of that. And in the next uh, classes we will, uh, uh, we will learn about how to handle them. So that's all for today. Uh, we try to complement what we uh, mentioned last time. Uh, with periodic signals uh, and trying to analyze complex sounds and we use uh, sonic visualizer which allows us to uh, to visualize some of this uh, spectral analysis a little bit better than uh, audacity and uh, and that's all for today so next uh, class uh, we will introduce our uh, tools the ones that we have developed the sms tools to try to uh, see if with those tools we can uh, do uh, something else in terms of analyzing sounds. So thank you very much for your attention and I see you next time.